so hello dear students welcome to the new video of the course and in this particular video we are going to simulate the circuit which we had uh, seen in the previous video and we had uh, uh, you know uh, just drawn the output waveform okay we had just deduced, deduced uh, the output waveform and we need to check whether uh, for this particular input waveform we are getting the same kind of same kind of output waveform or not okay so for that uh, we had uh, taken the same circuit let me go to the circuit diagram see just uh, see to the circuit okay and see to this particular circuit i had uh, already you know connected this particular circuit uh, but uh, important thing is we need to check the waveform so we'll just uh, go uh, simulate this particular circuit and then we will check the waveform so i will just click on the run and as you can see over here this is our output waveform so we as of now i'm just uh, show, showing you the output waveform and let me just take over here and let me just stop over here okay all right so as you can see over here see just a second let me just take this particular pen uh, red color pen okay so over here it should be plus 3.7 volts and uh, the practical value we are getting roughly around 3.6 volts over here so i think this is absolutely fine okay and when we were getting this when our input voltage was greater than plus 3.7 volts okay and if you could see very clearly over here we are getting minus 2.7 volts and rest uh, whole of the uh, waveform it is getting uh, reflected as it is to the output side okay so this is what i wanted to show you but still what i can what i will do now what is i will uh, just a second yeah i will show you the input output waveform simultaneously okay so let me just uh, erase this and let me take one over here and one over here okay and then i will run yes and this is what i wanted to show you see i'll just uh, stop this let it yes and now let me use pen of red color just a second it is not getting selected yeah so see this is our output wave, sorry extremely sorry this is our input waveform the red one is our input waveform and the green one is our output waveform and as you can see as our input voltage it is exceeding uh, or it, if it is greater than or if it is increasing to uh, plus 3.7 volts okay if it is increasing more than plus 3.7 volts okay or what i can say if our input voltage if it is greater than plus 3.7 volts so our output is equals to 3.7 volts and this is what we had deduced in this particular uh, graph as you can see when our input voltage is greater than a plus 3.7 volts at the output side we are getting 3.7 volts okay we are getting 3.7 volts at the output side and this is what we can easily uh, see over here and now as you can see when we in that means i'm talking about this particular uh, just a second yeah i'm talking about this particular part when we oh sorry just a second let me erase this thing yeah as you can see over here that when uh, v in it is less it is greater than minus 2.7 volts it is greater than minus 2.7 volts but it is less than plus 3.7 volts so for this particular time period period the waveform is getting reflected as it is as you can see over here okay it is getting reflected as it is okay and this is what we had uh, seen in our uh, you know uh, uh, graph as well i mean the input output graph as well so as you can see the input wave it is reflected as it is to the output side and now if you can check very clearly when v in is less than minus 2.7 volts so when v in is less than minus 2.7 volts that means i'm talking about this particular part so at the output side you are getting minus 2.7 volts so at the output side you are getting minus 2.7 volts and this is what we had seen over here we are getting minus 2.7 volts so now i hope that you really understood each and everything in great depth okay so i will erase this thing and we'll again simulate the circuit okay just a second we will run this particular circuit 
and as you can see the current it is moving in opposite direction and again it is moving in this particular direction see so now i really hope that you understood each and everything about the clipper circuit how clipper circuit works and what is the advantage of clipper circuit application of clipper circuit each and everything in great great depth okay so i, I am ending this video over here and thank you for listening me patiently